boys and girls, it's Miss Lynch here reading one of my favorite books, When a Dragon Moves In, written by Jody Moore, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. If you build a perfect sandcastle, a dragon will move in. He'll settle in all cozy and peep at you from inside. And you'll wonder how you ever got so lucky. With a dragon in your castle, you'll have a built-in marshmallow toaster, your very own raft, and a kite that practically flies by itself. Best of all, no beach bully would dare stomp your castle with a dragon inside. Of course, there are rules on the beach, so you'll have to hide a smoke from the lifeguard and erase the dragon prints from the sand. Eventually, you'll want to share the great news with your family. There's a dragon in my castle, you'll call to your mom. Mm-hmm, she'll answer. Listen to him roar, you'll say. I hear the roar of the ocean, she'll reply. See this feather for my dragon's wing, you'll ask your dad. That's a nice seagull feather, he'll say. And you know what feathers are good for. Feel my dragon's sharp teeth, you'll shout. Those are just broken shells, your big sister will say. But you and your dragon will know better. Just about then, your dragon will demand to be fed. First, he'll eat all the peanut butter sandwiches, even those that were supposed to be for your sister. Then his fiery snout will make the lemonade sizzle. That wasn't me, you'll answer. That was the dragon. Stop blowing bubbles in your drink, your mom will say. And you'll hear a heh, heh, heh from deep inside the sandcastle. Finally, since dragons love dessert, he'll slink into the family cooler and nibble the brownies when no one is looking. Whose fingerprints are in the brownies? Your dad will ask. Not fingerprints, you'll try to explain. Dragon prints. There's no such thing as dragons, your sister will say. Then your dragon will snicker again. <laughs> and spray sand all over her. Young man, I don't think this is funny, your mom will say. That wasn't me, you'll answer. It was the dragon. I think we've had enough of this dragon business, your dad will say. I guess I've had enough of this dragon business too, you'll sigh. Then you'll march over to your sandcastle and order your dragon to leave until he learns some manners. And you will vow never to build a perfect sandcastle again. At least until tomorrow.